Welcome back to my channel. Today's date is July 19th, 2021, and this is your daily download for Tops Project 70. I really, really wish the kids growing up today in sports could go back and experience Dion in his prime because he was a special athlete. And if over the weekend you had 680 on your Project 70 print run, Bingo board, congratulations, you are a winner. We now have a new low print run. That Casey Stengel by Ron English comes in at a very paltry 680. But my name is Chris, otherwise I'm on Twitter and Instagram is at CRT underscore sports cards. And my website is where you wanna go for everything related to Project 70. And that is simply CRTSportsCards.com. On the topic of the website, I do have some exciting news. The new website should be live here next week, week and a half. I have asked the developer to get everything done by the time the national starts. They did say it should be done this week. We will see. But in the meantime, I am working through a new checklist that is completely filterable by really any search term possible. You can test run that right now by joining us on Discord. So the link for my Discord community is in the comments below. And now while I do not want to get bogged down in the print runs, look, we had all nine all-star cards print out this morning. We also had all of the cards other than the Monday cards released today. I am very, very happy to see how well the all-star cards did. Who knows how they're going to sell on the secondary market. I think a lot of people bought those bundles to then resell in the future. I know I spoke about the fact that maybe that makes the most sense if you want three or four of the cards. I did just buy one Gregory Sif for the Sif collection. The other eight I just passed on, but it was good to see those new kind of special project cards get released and do very well. But now as we turn the page to week number 23 in the set, I think we all have to tell Tops here, hey, slow down your roll just a little bit. On the release calendar today, there are no Yankees, there are no Dodgers, there are no Atlanta Braves, there are though three new players. When did Project 70 ever become about new players? When did it ever become about new teams? And this is actually a perfect segue into something that I was gonna talk about today, regardless of what cards were released, but having three new players helps this out just a little bit. But last night on the website, I wanna take a look at the numbers and go, which artist has the most unique set, as in which artists have released the players that no one else has. So for example here, if you've released a Shohei Otani or Ronald Acuna or a Mickey Mantle, that score is naturally gonna be higher because more artists have released those cards. Now, that number will be fluctuating. What we have on the website here in the next couple of hours is where we were through last week. I have not counted in the cards that released today, but someone like Tyson Beck, for example, he is actually ranked number 51 of 51 with an average score of eight, which means of all of his cards releases here, there have been an average of eight. But now with this Akil Badu, he now gets a one in that category. So that's gonna drop that number down a little bit. When you look at someone like Blake Jameson with this Brett Phillips here, he actually was the third most unique set in the set as of last night, just behind Distorted and the number one artist right now, which is Don C. So look, the numbers are gonna be on the website. Who knows what this means in the big picture, if this means these sets are more collectible or least collectible, but if you're looking for um, maybe a set from an artist that there are not a lot of players out of right now, take a look at those rankings because right now you want to be with Don C, you want to be with Distorted, and most importantly, you want to be with Blake Jameson. And now why do I say that about Blake Jameson? And let's use this Brett Phillips card as the perfect example. Most artists in the set, and I'm just painting with a very, very broad stroke here, are making cards of players who have had a legendary career, as in maybe Daryl Strawberry. But Blake Jameson here, from Andrew McCutcheon to Jared Kelnick, now to Brett Phillips, even that Brooks Robinson chase card, Blake Jameson here is capturing a moment in time, not a career. So this is why he has one of the most unique sets, is because he's taking a very, very different approach. It's very difficult to go out there on a limb and release players and of team that are not highly collected. But Blake has done that and he continues to perform very, very well. And this Phillips card goes back to a very memorable relief pitching outing from Phillips. So we will have to see how it sells. This of course is only the third raise card and the fifth card 
from 2013 tops, but give it to Blake here again, going out on a limb and releasing an outlier card. But nothing says outlier more than Colorado Rockies and Charlie Blackman. Here we have the Bob Ross inspired card from Jonas Never. This card should not have had a hat on. Of course, Charlie Blackman does not have the wonderful hair of Bob Ross, but we finally completed the painting. The happy little trees are now happy. Tom Willis can breathe a sigh of relief. We now have every team represented. And so while that Charlie Blackman is from 1978 Tops, that's only the fourth card that is used that year so far. This next card is the first of Akil Badu, another rookie card. We spoke about it a second ago. This is, of course, Tyson Beck, but this is from one of the most popular years so far in the set. 1990 tops. There has been 16 releases so far from 90. The question is still out there. What makes 90 tops so popular with these artists? It is though great to see the third Detroit Tiger in the set. We did have Ty Cobb and Al Kaline earlier, but we do need some younger, fresher players from the Tigers because this is another team that has been neglected since the beginning of this set. But now all of that takes us to this, my card of the day on Monday. And I did also today from Naturel get confirmation he will be at the National next week. I'm unsure of what format he'll be there, but I hope to be able to meet Naturel after all of this time. But we have the eighth Shohei Otani in the set, the 23rd Los Angeles Angel, and the second card from 2017 Tops. This is just a perfect continuation of Natural set. You all know this is going to be a 20 card mosaic at the end of the day, but this card comes with a chase card. There are going to be, out of 99, they're going to be batting Shohei Otani. So good luck to everyone out there. It's going to be very difficult to not want to buy five or 10. I'm going to stick to my one. I did hit my eighth foil over the weekend. This time it was for a customer though, but stick to the game plan. Do not overextend yourself. We still have over 600 cards to go. What a fun and exciting Monday it was in Project 70, and this will complete your daily download for July 19th, 2021.